First question, what is the meaning of the term? He am a layl. And can you give us the differentiation between that term and tarawi, which is often misconstrued? Alhamdulillah. Wassalatu wassalam. Ala rasulillah wa ala ali wa sahibi ajmain. Amma abad. A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Rabbi shahli sadri wa yisalli amri. Wahlul urdata min lisani yafqahu kawli. As far as the word Qiyamul Layl is concerned, it is broken up into two words Qiyam. Qiyam means to stand. And Al Layl means the night. So literally it means standing in the night. But in the Sharia, in the Islamic context, it means it is a voluntary prayer which is prayed after Isha and before the break of dawn. And as we are aware that Isha starts after the redness of the sky disappears after sunset. And you can pray this Qiyam layl just before the break of dawn, before the time of Fajr. So Qiyam, the word Qiyam layl was given because a person in this voluntary prayer, he recites long verses of the Quran. So the standing is long. Therefore it is called as standing in the night. A prayer where you have to stand for a long time. And there are various different words which are used for the same Qiyamul Layl. For example, it's also called as Salatul Layl, meaning the prayer at night. It's also called as Tahajjud. It's also called as Vitar, also as Tarawi. Salatul Layl, as I mentioned, means prayer at night, similar to standing in the night, but not for praying. The other word used is tahajjud, coming from the word hajada, which means to wake up. So when a person sleeps and he wakes up to pray, it's called as tahajjud also. The other word used is vitar, vitar meaning odd. And the Prophet always say that you have to, after Isha Salah, you should offer vitar in odd rakats. And the other name used is taravi. Taravi comes from the Arabic word raha, which means to rest which means to relax. Because after a few generations after the Prophet, people when they used to read the Qiyamul Layl in Ramadan especially, this word Tarawi is mainly used for Qiyamul Layl in Ramadan. So when they used to pray the Qiyamul Layl in Ramadan, after four rakat they used to rest. So this word Tarawi from that time onwards it got stuck to this Qiyamul Layl in Ramadan, it's called as Tarawi. Normally after four rakat they used to rest. And this has continued because they used to pray for long hours. And even now, though they pray for a short time, a few verses, yet in the Qiyamul Layl during Ramadan, they stop. So the word is yet used at Tarawi. But at the time of the Prophet, this word Tarawi was never used. Even while praying during Ramadan, this word was never used. Even the Sahaba never used this word. It came down later on. So the more appropriate word is Qiyamul Layl. Tarawi is not the right appropriate word, but it came later on. But if a person, when he reads for a long time, Qiyamul Layl Ramadan, if he wants to rest, he can rest. But it's not forbidden to rest. The person is tired and he wants to rest, he can rest, but it's not compulsory, he has to rest. So the more appropriate word is Qiyamul Layl, and it's not Tarawi.